A good design grabs attention. A great design invites participation. Hi, I'm brand designer Izzy Poirier and today we're making the Design Festival campaign interactive by inviting the audience to be part of it. A festival experience doesn't start at the event, it starts before. The best campaigns create engagement before people even arrive. The goal is to transform the campaign into an interactive experience. By designing a remixable social template, attendees can now add their own photos, videos, and quotes, and all that while keeping the brand identity intact. First, we need to create the base design for the social media templates. Since we want people to be able to add their own images, we're making a remixable template that works seamlessly in Adobe Express. I'm starting in Illustrator, creating derivatives from the campaign posters formatted for Instagram. The size I'm setting up can work across other platforms, but for now I'm focusing on Instagram, stories and posts. To prepare the editable area, I'm placing a shape over the entire artboard, then adding another square or rectangle where people will insert their photo. I'll use the Exclude Pathfinder to cut out that section. This is where the image will go. Once the space is ready, I can either color that shape or use a clipping mask to apply our Firefly Germinated backgrounds from the poster design. This keeps everything visually connected to the campaign. From here, I'll add elements and play with composition. I'm also testing where the metallic shape could go, since we'll be animating it later in Adobe Express. For now, I'm placing it to see how the composition flows, but I'll remove it before exporting. Once everything is finalized, I'll export the files with a transparent background so they are ready to be uploaded in Adobe Express. Now that our designs are ready, it's time to set up the remixable template in Adobe Express, making it easy for attendees to personalize and share. I'll start by uploading the social media graphics then I'll bring back the metallic shape as a separate layer. To prepare for the user edits, I'll also add a placeholder portrait. This is where people will insert their own photo later. To do this, I'll go into Media, select a portrait, and position it correctly. I'll crop it and set it as the last layer so the campaign design remains intact while still allowing users to edit their own images. Now, technically, we could have designed everything in Adobe Express, but since we're working with a maximalist design, I want to keep this as user-friendly as possible. Most people will be using this on their phones, and I don't want them to have to click and drag too much. Keeping the design structured prevents things from getting too messy and keeps the campaign intact. Now that the static design is set, let's add some movement. I'm applying an animation effect on the metallic shape, making it look like it's floating around. This subtle animation adds energy to the campaign and makes the design feel more alive. Once everything is finalized, it's time to make the template public so attendees can start using it. I'll share, make a template, create a public template link, and then create the template link. This ensures that the main design stays intact while users can only edit what we've made editable, keeping the design festival branding strong and recognizable. Now that the template is live, here's how attendees can remix it and make it their own. When they click the link, they'll see an option to remix this template. From there, they can click on the photo placeholder and select replace, choosing a photo of themselves to insert into the template. They can switch between different design variations, choosing for multiple posts and story layouts we created. For the text, they can click on the text box and add their own quote. For example, I'm adding, art and design are meant to coexist, not to be separated. Since I set the text box size in advance with the lock and allow text replace, it keeps everything structured, preventing the design from being cluttered and adding too much text. For the final template, I want to experiment by adding a video instead of a static image. I'll click replace, choose a video of myself walking, and insert it into the design. Personally, I think this fits the campaign perfectly since Design Festival is all about exploring the city. Once everything is customized, attendees can click the arrow to send it straight to social media. In this case, I'm choosing Instagram Stories and posting directly to my story. This is how you can create a touchpoint that connects a social media campaign with the audience 
in a way that not only spreads the word about your event, but also makes the audience part of the advertising campaign. By creating a remixable template in Adobe Express, you're giving attendees a way to engage before the festival even begins, helping to build an excitement, increase awareness, and create a stronger connection between the event and the community. And this is how you can create an interactive campaign that does not just promote the event, but invites the audience to be part of it. Be sure to check out the remixable template in the description below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Adobe Live channel. Stay tuned for more episodes, and thanks for watching.